Hey, Fancy Beauties and Bows. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's Work On Me Wednesday. I absolutely love these segments um, because not only is it enriching my life, I'm also thankful to see that you guys are enjoying these work with me Wednesday uh, videos as well and it's helping you too. So today's work on me Wednesday is going to be about forgiveness and this was the message for um, Sunday and pastor talked about Forgiveness in a different, in a different realm of thinking, right? Not the normal, oh, you know, this person did something to me and um, I need to forgive them, you know, because it's the right thing to do. N not in that sense, right? And I will list uh, the Bible verses that he reached for uh, to deliver his sermon. And I took away, um, I took away help. I took away the power and was given back to me. You know, um, my forgiveness was for my molester. My forgiveness was for men that didn't necessarily treat me the way that I should have been treated, right? Um... I, I did end up going to the altar um, this Sunday and I I laid everything on the altar. I left it there. And before this sermon was even preached, so I say maybe two weeks earlier, I was standing in the window and I said out loud that I forgave my molester and I had more than one molester. Um, but the one that was really hurtful to me was the one that I was hanging on to the most because it was a family member that was married and that was this person was married into the family, right? And I know how my family feels. They're probably going to be mad, especially if they see this video. They're probably going to be mad that I'm even uh, making this video. I'm not saying the person's name, but they're going to know who I'm talking about. At this point in my life, I really don't care uh, because this is about my healing. This is about me growing and becoming the person that God made me to be. This is about healing that little girl on the inside. Giving her the comfort that she needs. Giving her her power back. Giving her her voice back. So that this adult person, this adult Regina, can come out of the locked shelves, the locked box, the locked wall that I placed around myself. Not even knowing that I, I even did that. It is what's really crazy about this whole thing. I didn't even know 
that I was boxing myself in, that I was locking myself in because I always associated myself as being a free spirit, of being a people person, of, of being social, a social butterfly, if you will. And I start seeing, as I start dissecting myself, in these last few years, just recently, I realized that I was shying away from people because I didn't want them to come in and I didn't want them to hurt me. Had no idea that I was doing this. And now that I'm aware that I'm doing this, even recently with, with joining this church, um, I am opening myself up to people. Uh, but at the same time, I don't, after church, I don't, I don't stick around because I, I'm still working on myself. I'm still, I still have to come out of all of that, all those layers that I, I piled onto myself to pad my heart. I have to undo that. And it's going to take some time. It took it took time to put those layers, so it's going to take time to release those layers. Um hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. And so I I couldn't even Stand to see this person. I, I didn't want to see their face. I didn't want to see anything that had to do with them. Right? And so I had to leave that at the altar because what Pastor preached, he said, you won't be able to move on. You won't be able to grow spiritually because you have this unforgiveness inside of you and you have to let that go. And in order to let it go, you have to forgive the person or persons that hurt you through your, through your life. You just have to do that because once you... And, and what he said is, is, the example he gave was there was a family that um, their child was murdered and the parents had to, you know, forgive themselves. He also said, or not themselves, but the person that killed their, their child. He also said that when someone does something to you, you often have a reaction to want harm to come to this person. And he said that that is not the God that we serve. I know it's not the God that I serve. And he said the same thing. He said, that's not the God that he serves. And it's true because think about it. If When we when we do things that are not aligned with God, what if he what if he set vengeance out on us based on us not doing what or or hurting him? Because we hurt him when we don't keep his commandments. We hurt him when we don't look out for each other. We hurt him when we lie, when we steal, when we fornicate, when we have adulterous relationships, when we steal, when we contemplate and want to devise a plan to harm someone. All these things hurt God. So what if he turned around and said, oh, 
So you want to bash the person that's gay? That's not your job. That's not your job to judge them. So guess what? I'm going to judge you for sleeping with that man's husband, that man's wife. I'm going to judge you for sleeping with that woman's husband. I'm going to judge you and bring the wrath down on you because you sleeping, you having sex with someone you're not married to them or you you stealing or you lying or whatever the whatever the case is, whatever the sin is. What if he turned around and did that to us? What we want to do to people that hurt us. And so that's why he said we have to forgive that person. And 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 what was so powerful about the message was that when they hurt us, instead of having those lash out reactions, is to just simply wish them well and mean it in your heart. Pray for them that they become a better person so that they don't continue to hurt other people the way that they hurt you. Because many times, and I can say this for myself, when, you know, somebody hurt me, I'll, I'll, the first thing I would say was, see, karma going to get you. God don't like you messing with me. You know, I would say things like that. God going to get you. And, and what pastor said is, God is not a dog. You can't go and seek him on somebody. Go get them and, and make sure they know that you getting them because of what they did to me. He said, that's not how God works. And it's true. And I, I, I didn't like sick them. I didn't say, God, go get them. But I would say things like, karma is going to get you for what you did to me. Vengeance is his, said the Lord. Not mine. Not ours. And so, as hard as it's going to be. Even the person that cut you off, you know what I'm saying? We go hard in, oh, you so-and-so and so-and-so. Just, I really hope they get there safely. It's going to be hard, I know, because we have done this for so long that it's now a habit to have that knee-jerk reaction, to, you know, want harm to come to this person or you feel like oh well let me what what you did to me i'm gonna do it back to you or i'm gonna do double back to you just so you could hurt even even more than you hurt me we gotta we gotta change our thinking when it comes to that so it's gonna be a process i'm gonna be working on it I've already start working on it, it you know, because living out here in Georgia, y'all know this traffic is whoo -hoo, horrendous and people will cut you off. And I caught myself getting angry and I was like, nope, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just little things like that. So I hope this message of forgiveness will help you to work on yourself in this way so that you know e even if you're not looking to accept Christ in your life and, or accept God into your life and become saved at least to help you become a better person you know and this will also help in my opinion i feel like it will help in you know reducing your high blood pressure reduce your stress level 
keep those early wrinkles off your face. <laughs> keep a smile on your face. Help you keep a healthy heart. All these things, you know, not only spiritually will it help you, but physically it will help you. And so I hope at least you will take that bit away when you watch this video and pray for your strength in this area so that you can become stronger in, in that. Because once you let prayer in, you're letting God in. When you let God in, things just seem to just... Whew, calm down and simmer down. You know what I mean? So I wish that Zen for you. I pray for that Zen for you in your walk of forgiving those that, that hurt you in whatever way, whether it is in a relationship or was in a relationship with a significant other. It could even be family members that have hurt you. You know, of course, the other dark side of things that I mentioned earlier, e even if that is your situation, it's going to be hard. And it's not going to happen right in that moment. And it could. And it could. You know? Um, so that that is what I want to leave you with. The the power to take to take back yourself, to take back your happiness, to take back your serenity. And I will see you, Fancy Beauties and Bowls, in the next video. You got to stay tuned. The um, patio haul is coming up. And then the um, decorating of that patio is coming up as well. So just stay out and click that notification bell so you guys are alerted. Hopefully, YouTube will alert you when I upload my videos so that you guys can stay connected with me in that way. I do want to do a live. I have not done a live on my YouTube channel. Um, and I do have one fancy beauty in bold or one fancy beauty that has asked for me to do a live. So let me know in the comments down below if you do want a live from me. It's going to be an open forum. You guys can ask me whatever questions you want to ask. Um, we can cut up. We can do whatever you want to do. Uh, bring your wine. Have your wine. I'm going to have my wine. Um, if you want to, whatever you want to happen in that live, we can, we can look into that. You know, if you want to do it while I'm cooking, if you want to do it while I'm doing my makeup, whatever you want to do. So, uh, yeah, so stay on the lookout for that and you guys stay fancy and I'll see you soon.